Hello everybody, welcome back to SD Gundam G-Generation Genesis. Before we start, um, most likely the final stage of Unicorn. Got some organizing to do real quick. Go back to groups. We're gonna develop this into the new Gundam match production type. Awesome. And I have decided to take Char out of his Zekok. <laughs> I'm putting him into... Ziong. <laughs> also, just for gonna go up here. Develop into the Jigen Type A2 GR. And. Gotta get the gun to Mark IV. Alright. And down here. We're going to make the Ricci as custom. And. The Giradoga. Okay, there's a reason for this. <laughs> now we the magic units, design. All designs. And we have a few! <laughs> the Psycho Gundam and Marvin Herrett's Gun Cannon Heavy Type D. Awesome. And... Pilot. Hi, Four! <laughs> Alright. Um, I have... done a little grinding just for some money to buy some parts because... Um, my guys need... My, some of my units... I won't name anyone specifically specifically needed some parts and I gave them parts now it's time to take on over the rainbow let's go the machine black as the void of space awoke from the obsession raging within Ritty Marcinas and golden light burst forth as it became the perfect beast. A beast. Banshee Non. The family that created a curse. The family that hid it. Riddy resigned to the fate imparted by his father. Gave himself up to the machine and closed in on the unicorn. Banasher, who had also once been at the mercy of the NTD's killing urges, was nothing more than a dissonant chord interrupting the lion's roar to Riddy. As the two fought Riddy Marcinas, impassioned, con impassioned consciousness began to sense the voices of the people, starting with Ben Nasher. Then, Alberta Vist, the Nail Arkama crew, faceless Zeons, enemies, and finally, Minerva Zabi. The background noise from his Psychocom. No, this was proof that the person known as Riddy Marcinas had touched on the doorway to human reformation. With his budding new type potential, forced open by the psycho o frame, the cluster of thoughts flooded violently into his brain, incredibly, seeking unilateral agreement. The thoughts of others poured into his ego, and if there were wills, were, as if their wills were rejecting his entire self. This incompatibility with his physical body created a paradoxes. Oh, it's why it created paradoxes in Riddy's mind. The Black Lion, overwhelmed and unable to tell friend from foe, pulled the Beam Magnum's trigger. Merida Cruz, who was trying to stop Riddy's rampage, was vaporized instantly by a huge beam of light. So Merida's dead. <laughs> that sucks. Your heart is sincere, but it's hurting others and yourself. 
Calm down and take a look around you. The world is vast and filled with power, with, with people, all in resonance. Use the force, Riddy. Wait! D don't go! No! What have I... What have I done? The rays of the beam of light, enveloping the black line, expanded to fill the whole sector, illuminating all within. The space between the earth and the moon shone brighter than any star. The glow of Merida Cruz's final thoughts began to touch the spirits of all humanity, guiding them to the box within all the weight and warmth her physical body had held. That's so like you. <laughs> After all we went through, those are your final words to me. You were my light, a light that gave me a new life. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I couldn't do anything for you. It was you who were my light. Princess, Merida Cruz standing down. Merida, I'm sorry I couldn't repay you for all you've done. That's not true. Take care of Benazir and hold him close, Princess. If you don't, he might... Merida Cruz's voice faded from the world, as her final thoughts were accepted by those she had loved. The light in the sky also faded, returning to the darkness. The black lion, confused by its own dead, remained, si oh, deed, remained silent. Then the unicorn let off an almighty bestial roar! Ready? I have one piece of advice for you right now. Run. Also, what is the Nail Argama's position? Checking now. It's engaging a Neo Zeon fleet in the vicinity of Industrial 7. The Special Forces of Machine, launched from the General Revel, has also arrived in the battle line. Oh, at the battle line. I can't say I'm surprised. Looks like the Federation and Neo Zeon's honeymoon is over. We have a clear line of f fire. We await your orders. Chairman Ronin, is it as you said? There's no doubt that Laplace's box is located in Industrial 7. Industrial 7's Magalanica. Whichever side reaches it, you know what you must do. With this act, what must be done? With this act, Laplace's box will be lost. A new box will be born. That a colony must be sacrificed to protect a se the secret for good is a terrible truth. But this new box will allow the Federation, allow the Foundation, and the government to continue working together. Stage 6, Over the Rainbow. So what's going on, Bright? Did you, did you say Grips 2? Its code name, the, its code name is System. It was repaired upon the Earth Orbital Fleet's restru restructuring. If you listen to the rumor mills, the control center is probably located at... Siena in North America. Just think, at the Federation of Vist Foundation's top brass have all gathered there. Are they intended to incinerate everything? That's my guess. The Foundation doesn't care about prevent preserving the box anymore. They'd rather destroy it than see it handed over to, the thir to a third party. The Nail Argum is engaged in battle, and I have no means of warning them. From the looks of things, may already be too late to evacuate Industrial 7. We may have no choice but to go ourselves. 
That's a tough decision you have there, Captain Bright. It's a good thing I'm not there. <laughs> All hands, prepare for atmospheric entry. Ray the ship for Earthfall. On my authority as Londo Bell Commander, we will conduct a search inside the Shiane Sh base facility. Industrial 7. Magalankia. Mal. Magalanica. So those are clear. There goes the unicorn. Going in. Unicorn Gundam, you copy. No matter what, you just stay calm and deal with it. Don't forget, we've got your back. Uh, right. At long last, it's time. Yeah. It really didn't have to come with me, you know. I also had the, have a right, no, a duty to see this through. Too many people have died over it. Whatever, whatever's inside Laplace's box, it had better be worth all the loss of life it's caused. Whatever it is, whatever it is that's about to happen, promise me, promise that you'll come back to me. Audrey, that is my only wish. I promise. Let's go to the Vist, Vist Mansion. Yes. Just a giant roundabout. Unicorn Gundam has gone on ahead. No readings from the Harbor Center. Communications appear to be cut off. Done at the behest of the Met. Magalanica's master. The Vist Foundation head, no doubt. Shall we go inside as well? Captain. The Nilargama is at its limit. If we seal the gate behind us, we can use Magalanica as a shelter. Hold on. Were this a Xeon ship, she'd be deemed fit to re-enter battle. Lieutenant Zinnerman? Don't forget that the Relua stills Relua is still out there, and we don't know what Full Frontal's plan of attack is yet. I would keep your ship on standby, and be prepared for whatever might come that way if... Something is targeting us. At least, that's what Lieutenant Merida said. Let's wait for him. Unicorn this time. It's the adult's turn to protect him. We're in for the long haul here. <laughs> this is one, gonna be one big episode. <laughs> My only wish. The beast of possibility. The symbol of hope. I've come back once more. Laplace's box is here? I have been waiting. Huh? For there is only there is one thing I must tell you. My own flesh and blood and the Xeon Princess. One cannot find two people more fitting to entrust the contents of Laplace's box. It took a billion years for life to rise from the sea to land. It took another billion years of countless changes before that life could take human form. And that is how evolution works. It cannot be felt in a limited lifespan of an individual. However, new types embody an expansion of cognition cognitive and ability that triggers the reformation of an individual's consciousness. It doesn't take a billions. What? Nothing. Are you questioning my science? Yes. Shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> the last night of the old calendar, the instant of the universal century began. That's when its first strands were woven. Wait a minute. That monument? Is that the universal century charter? But it's different from the one we know. 
It has an extra. It has one extra article. Huh? In the future, should a new space adapted human race emerge, the Federation shall prioritize their involvement in governmental administration. A new human race. New types. That is La Pla Place's box. This is the truth behind the curse that has cast its spell on us from the past for the past hundred years. However, it's also a prayer. Who are you? This is Sim Vist, founder of the Vist Foundation, as well as your great grandfather, Master Benazir. You are watching us. Everything that's happened, you saw it all. But you did, didn't do anything. Benazir, Simvist, you used a secret to extort concessions from the Federation government for many years. Why would you suddenly want to give that up? Four years from now, in the UC, in the air, UC 100, uh, the at autonomy of the Republic of Zeon will be revoked. Eventually, the name of Zeon, along with its ideology, will gradually sink into oblivion. Likewise, the word new type will be forgotten as well, and the curse of the box will return to nothingness, along with the prayers it represents. They are prayers to face the god called Possibility. Once again, without giving in to despair, and without accepting defeat. If we let this opportunity pass, but if we don't, if we do this, war will break out once more. If it was signed by representatives of every nation, then this charter carries the weight of law. If an anti-government group like Zeon Remnants, like Zeon Remnants were to acquire it, it'd be the perfect weapon to bring down the Federation. If that happens, we'll see a repeat of the One Year War, and that price is too steep to pay for, for a noble I idea. That is why I want to entrust it to the new types like you two. New type. New types. The LAT program is a system that was designed to identify true new types. Because unlike cyber new types, the psycho waves of a true new type are actually immeasurable. And that's why only a true new type can make matter who can... Oh. Only a true new type, new type, no matter who, can be the key that leads to the box. That is what the Unicorn Gundam is. Cardius Vist was the one behind it all. Master Benazir, your father had a dream. A new society, a future built in a world where the box had already been opened. But he never imagined you would pilot it. Not in his wildest dreams. What brought you here was your own free will. It wasn't some curse. Do not waver. You are your father's. Uh, <laughs> Unicorn, this is new type resonance. Uh, Benasher, shoot me. Please just shoot me. Gah, uh. Is he just been floating in space for how long has it been since the last fight? <laughs> like, seriously, has, how long has he just been floating there? Like, it's been three weeks since like this. Engine's running on reserve. No reserve food. Very little reserve water. We should really plan for this stuff inside a mech, you know, that's designed to fight in space in case, you know, it's ever disabled but we're stuck inside it. You can still breathe. Food for thought for later. Ensign Ready, this is Mihiru. If you can hear me, please respond. Ensign Mihiru. Ensign Ready, can you hear me? It's Otto. Come back to the ship. You're still a Nail Argama crew member. Captain Otto. There was nothing I could do. No, that's not true. There were plenty of other options. So why did I... That's it, ready? What are you talking about? Please explain. Captain. Have you ever wondered why the Federation has always tried to prove that Zeon is wrong? They're labeled the devils who dropped a colony. That was the result, not the cause, of the problems. The real issue is the new types. New types? In the future, should a new species of new space-adapted human race emerge, the Federation shall prioritize their involvement in governmental administration. 
That prayer, spoken a hundred years ago, became a curse. The instant Zeon Daiku proposed his new type theory. The truth of Laplace's box is... Ricardo Marcinez, the Federation First Prime Minister, added an article to the UC Charter as if to atone for ban banishing Earth's population to the space. Inde instead, he was a made a martyr for the Federation political system. The Charter was rewritten, and the world has been, been the end of it. That would have been the end of it. At least, if the original Universal Century Charter hadn't fallen into the hands of t a terrorist, Sim Vist, who was involved in his assassination. Sim... Siam Vist. All this for something so trivial? He was a very clever man, although he blackmailed the government using the Charter's existence as leverage. He never made unreasonable demands. He fostered the de development of the Anheim Electronics, which was still a startup at the time, and created the Vist Foundation. And so began, began a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship with the Federation. It was maintained by aggrandizing and keeping the original charter, Laplace's box, hidden. Whatever is actually inside it no longer matters, for the box now symbolizes the current world order. In the beginning, it was nothing more than a scandal to threaten the existing administration. But the Principality of Zeon's rise to power changed all that! <laughs> Whether or not new types actually exist, the fact that the Federation swept the at article under the rug would become the ultimate weapon for Zeon. They had no choice but to remain silent. It would keep this world from going to hell. And yet, in the end, heck came anyway, in the form of the One Year War. The inordinate death toll, and then the existence of new types, verified by the war, gave weight to the box's curse. That's why those who knew were forced to keep the secret. Fearing that another devastating war would break out, they chose to make the populace docile under a warped system. But what is this order they've tried so hard to protect? There's no doubt the voice I heard was Merida Cruz until then I didn't even know her name. And yet, her voice was... We can understand each other. Human beings have that possibility. I didn't believe in the person I had sworn to protect. I've let everyone down. And now, I've lost everything. <laughs> Ugh. And now we're being blown up! <laughs> it's a ship fi- It's worship fi- It's not worship fire. It's enemy mobile suits. So you attacked after all, full frontal. What? Where? Um. Oh no. Enemy mobile suits. Multiple inbound. Ugh. Mobile suits. Are you able to return? Ensign Riddy. The Banshee appears to be fighting. What? And... Ready! How dare you attack the Nail Arkham on my watch! Uh... An attack? There is no need to be concerned. Magalanica has been well and free enforced in anticipation. Now, in anticipation of this day. Anticipation? What do you mean? I have spent decades, spent decade after decade surviving, serving, serving, serving as the box's guardian, staying far too long in this old body. During that time, I have had a single desire. New types were to trust truly exist. I wanted to entrust the box to their care. For I believe that only they will be able to put the box to better use and reclaim the future that was meant to be. And now that technology has been perfected, that can touch the human psyche, the soul. I want to prove their existence. Yet, that is only my wish. 
Every person has a wish. You can choose to leave the box unopened, or even destroy it. If neither of those two options satisfy you, you are even welcome to strike this poor old fool dead. What is it that you wish? Look into your heart. If new types are really a new kind of human, it's unlikely that the current humans would be able to identify them. If that's the case, I can't be certain that either one of us have the quali qualities you're looking for. I don't know what's best to do. Even so, as a human being, I want to believe in the future. I want to believe in people and the potential they possess. Everything is ready. You wish you can address the entire Earth sphere via every communication and broadcast system there is. No small feat, foundation or not. But there is precious little time. The Federation will do everything in its power to stop you. Now, you must hurry before... I wouldn't do that if I were you. You're about to lock that, that possibility away. You should keep the contents of the box secret. It can serve as leverage to bargain with the Federation. Full frontal. Only that that will lead Space Lord to true prosperity. Leave us full frontal. You're nothing made in Shar's image, and everything you do is merely an attempt to fulfill his role. How can you be sure that this side co-prosperity sphere you speak of isn't simply a part of your programming? A man who never believed in humanity's future has no right. That may have been the case at first, but I am no longer empty. It is not I who desire to come here and see the true contents of the box with his own eyes. So whose desire was it? I am but an empty vessel. But whose thoughts are in this vessel? I would also like to know the answer to that question. Sim Vist. Patriarch of the Vist Foundation family, as leader of Neo Zeon, and as the one who speaks for all space noids. I'd like you to place Laplace's box in my care. This is not something that is up to the ne for negotiation. I ask you not to interfere as you did in the in the key's handover. There could be truth in what you said. Perhaps the box should remain unopened, so that humanity may not may go on living the reality it has also always known. Then why? Let me explain. The box's contents do not belong in the hands of any person who would only use it its unveiling as a bargaining chip. Men such as you and I. Listen to me, Ghost of Shar. The Universal Century will reach the hundred year mark soon. It's clear that this is no longer our time. It is so unthinkable that it could be time for the young to take over. You believe that there, these two are the tr are true new types? Then, is of little consequence. They followed the path that led to the box and made a decision. I intend to abide by whatever that decision is, as you wish. I do not care to engage in any future further acts of war. However, if you will not accept my request, I will have no choice but to take the Universal Century Charter by force. Full frontal! Banazer! I'll come back, I promise! He truly is a ghost. It makes me wonder what sort of future all this will bring about. Then again, it's possible that nothing will change. Words are nothing more than words. Even laws are interpreted to suit one inter one's interests. If the box is open, naturally there will be some un upheaval. There might be a movement to enforce the extra clause. But it begs the question, do new types truly exist? After the investigations and discussions have ended, perhaps the issue will be forgotten, undecided. Even so, Banazer will do what he thinks is right. Just like a hundred years ago, when the representatives of Earth's nations etched their good intentions into this monument. And just like you have done in continuing to protect the box for so long. He has found a very good partner in you. 
Huh? Princess Minerva, there is no better person to speak the truth. I would like it if you could, you would tell the people of the Universal Century our only wish in your own words. Ah! <laughs> I'll be off then. That's full frontal! That's big. That is very, very big. Those mobile suits have been hijacked. A new psycho machine? Oh, great. This is as far as you go. Let's leave it at that. Hey, unicorn! Oh, it's glowing. Ensign Riddy. Unicorn, it's been Azure. Let's do this, Benazure. This light is o is isn't only coming from the two of us. I know that's it. I know that. It's coming from everyone. So, two Gundams oppose me? Me, the vessel filled with a collection with will collective will of the people. A vessel. Humans can't be vessels. Not even artificial ones. Come on, stop hiding behind that mask, full frontal. Very well, I will accept your challenge, Gundams. Sortie team! No pre-fight? Okay, going straight in. Destroy full frontal, can be Azure, destroy. Aw, man! I wanted to kill it with the goof. Neo Zihong. No, no. I... Disable the specific enemy's units and. Units. Unit ability, one turn. What? Perfection. Oh, if I just damage him, he doesn't have this anymore. Awesome! Psycho frame. There's 200 or more attack. Dead. Tiles range cannot use range within nine tiles. Cannot use range physical beam. Okay. Destroy mode green. D. Beam Tafa, Beam Gatling, Beam Magnum, Shield Funnel. Alright! Huh. And two more get gauges. All right, let's uh, let's get started. We will not hand over Laplace's box. Humans will make their own future. Unicorn! And here we go. Ah. Shield funnels. How lovely. And boom. Just so many. It didn't kill it. I'm so disappointed. That was a lot of bullets. Will this hit? Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> well, this is going to be a very very long stage. Okay, 
send you guys up here. Hello! I'm your old friend, the Banshee Norn. Let's go! I've come a long way. I should be able to do this, so lend me your power one more time, Banshee. That was the beam magnet. And... I should have targeted the little guys. I'm an idiot. Oh, I might not have enough people here to kill to get the... Oh, uh, that's going to be disappointing. Okay. This purse. Don't worry, Arkama. We got your back. Why don't you send your guys out? Because we're getting get gauges. It'll be a while. What was that percentage again? Not high enough, that's what it was. Actually kind of like this unicorn. <laughs> Ow. Let's think. That's good being Gatling. Is that just me using the funnels again? Or I'm actually holding the Gatling? That's like a. No, it's just me using the funnels. Still kill. Why did I not kill the one guy? <laughs> you know? Hi! Beam Tafa or I can use the Beam Saber. We'll go with Beam Saber. <laughs> Just got a pair of dodgy guys right now. Because. Oh, yeah, unicorns are. Uni the unicorn units are pretty much the strongest in this timeline, right? I'm unsure. Hi. This is my beam Gatling. Hey, it's going to kill you. No, not the missiles. Not the... Yeah, you're just dead. <laughs> so what was I saying about the get gauge not maxing out again? <laughs> I think I was wrong. <laughs> Okay, this costs less. Beam Gatlings again. More missiles! Just so many missiles.
I don't know why, I just find the bean gatlings, I, I just like the way they look. They're really cool. Revolving launcher. Huh. Fear my missiles. Because you're dead. Hi, um, I have this. It is very nice. It is called my beam saber. I'm gonna cut you in half. Second first, same as the first. Did not kill. Almost killed, which means I can. If I had Vin, if I had Vulcans, I could just kill it next turn with a Vulcan. No, I don't have Vulcans. Armed Armor D E. Eh, this is my last shot for this turn anyway. Like, I won't be able to follow up or anything, because everything else would just, uh... Well, it's gonna not hit. Like, I don't have enough energy. Dead. It was the shield. The sh I should have remembered that. That's that's the shield I used. I should remember that. Well, I feel stupid. I don't got enough. So just dodge. You actually hit me. Good shot. Okay, what's their get gauges like? Not bad. But they could get better. So that's the limit. Just Zaku 3 has to die. Because you're the only guy who actually hit me. <laughs> Beam Tom for time. Uh, you didn't die? Still hit me. Wait, did I just regen that health? I think I regen health. All right. Benazir got a lot more HP back. Beam Tonfa. We'll just go for the Beam Tonfa. Get rid of the actual scary units. Zaku 3. And... Dead. They both survived with really high. Are you going to hit me and leave me lose? Okay, you missed... You missed Benazir. That get gauge is not looking good. I'm betting you Benadryl will fill up first after killing Full Frontal. Um, yeah, let's go with the beam gun. With the Gatling gun. Ah, your arm gun. And this. Get him, boys! <laughs> Fire my command! Waves arm! Fire! Now 
hello again. You're gonna die. You ran out of ammo. For you to counter, so go for it. Puppet, Pup puppet, um, what are you, Jesters? I didn't read what it was called. Yeah, no, they're Jigans. Oh. Dead. Just dead. Killed the one in the center. Hi. You're going to die. Ammo, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Don't kill them all, those three are mine! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Attack number two. Moving in. Do not think it will kill. It did not. But he missed! <laughs> I'm unable to use range, range attacks anymore, so this is the dodging zone. Many warriors die this way. Can I? Nope, do not have enough energy to even attack. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And what will you achieve with that Gundam's light? A flash that won't even last the solar system. Well, won't even leave the solar system. No matter how much you gather, it won't matter. So I'm going to pass this light on until it covers the world. He missed! Hi. Die. <laughs> oh my guys in the back of the ship just saying. Did they got this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they got this. Get gauge? Yeah, probably a get gauge. And dead. Okay, the Norn's almost halfway full.
Okay. And there we go. Ooh, over here. Hi, full frontal. One second, I have to get rid of this guy first. Then you're all mine. This... I won't be able to kill you by myself. So I need some help. But Nashor is supposed to kill him by himself. Kill him, so this shouldn't actually kill the Neo Zeon, right? It's 42,000 HP. Yeah, super not going to kill it. That's like nothing. Uh, yeah, that hit. Ow! I might get, need to get my boys in there and help. Yeah, that's not good. Alright, guys. Um, Remember I was just, like, keeping you back here and uh, not doing anything? Yeah, change of plans. Anyone I have who can actually uh, make it to... No. There is absolutely no one who can make it up there. Who can shoot from outside the ring, though? I think I know of one person who can. Hmm. Not far enough. Someone within a range of ten. Seven. Fully enough, the easy to hate has some ridic- So, man. Five. Four. Five. Wait a minute. A seven. No way Ral's hitting it. It's like only a warship. Surely even you can feel it. The heat. The light from everyone. The light that emanates from humans. Things with this warmth seem so empty. I can do for now. Oh. oh, it's still alive! Oh! Oh, there are Jeekins on this thing. Spurs. Pfft. Not an idiot. Close. There we go. Hey, full frontal. The chances this will. Wait a second. But you are close enough to one of my guys. Actually, I'm gonna just give you this for a second. <laughs> no, no big deal. Just gonna give you that. Give you up one. <laughs> Hyper Mega Particle Cannon, please. I just think it's funny. <laughs> hey, hey, full frontal. 
Eat Argama. <laughs> it's not going to do a lot, but it will do something. Ah! Did lessen the Bean Tonfa by a lot. I'm more surprised to hit. <laughs> can I? Can I? Hi! I'm the Zanzibar. <laughs> Outdated piece of crap. Don't care. I got missile barrage. What do you got? Neo Zongness. Why am I hitting with such low rolls? How are they hitting me? No idea, sir! Hi! What, more missiles? They're outside my range of blocking the ranged attacks! Ships! Anti Neo Zeong fodder! Yeah, that, that one did. My luck ran out there. <laughs> ran out with a total of th two out of three isn't bad for hitting. <laughs> and now I'm close. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, let's think for a minute. How can I save my boys? One, two to six, three to seven. So has an attack for everything. The least damaging one is right next to it. <sighs> okay, who has the highest movement speed? Six. Maybe I get away with that. <laughs> so close. Let's put out a couple guys who might be a good distraction. I mean, it worked. Dodged it! <laughs> like a champ! Okay, you get in there. Oh no, he doesn't have a ship! Okay, send him out of the range so he heals. You don't heal, you heal. I'm just gonna leave these two. Here for another turn. Do I have to have? That's a boost, lock on. Hi! Well, that wasn't here before. I'm just saying. That melee attack wasn't here before. And it's so damaging, I would be a fool not to use it. <laughs> yeah.
Let's go. Going in for the... Oh! Super punch! And karate chop! Oh! Just play that piano! It looks like a piano playing piece. Almost! I could've took a little off the top and I would've killed him. And we... Oh, he lost Vigor because he didn't kill it. Dodge. Yeah, I expected I was going to hit, but I also reduced damage! So yeah, I didn't take anything. And he did. Historic moments. No! It's the miracle again, and nothing will change. Look, Benazir. Oh, hi, Axis. I mean, spoilers, I haven't played this part. Oh, there's, there's Boaku. <laughs> Amro killing Lala. <laughs> ah! That! Yeah. This is the place where it all began. Uh, I take it you can see it as well. In that case, let us travel together to the end of time. Come, Banasher. I mean... The void of light, even the flow of time does not exist here. This is how the world ends, a world which has reached the end of its time. Fight it all you want. The outcome will be the same. Uh, I'm sure you must understand this. Hope and possibility are nothing but fleeting dreams, glimpsed from the, from the gate to this nothingness. Illusions that offer no comfort. Comfort. They lead people astray and create a meaningless conflict. Only new types understand this truth. Even so, one shouldn't place irrational hopes in a life that fades away after its brief existence. But even so... Heat. Warmth from the light. Gather up as much as you'd like. It will change nothing. Yes, nothing! But this heat... It warms the universe, doesn't it? Hi, Lala! I suppose it's time. Sure! Thoughts you had were... Thoughts you had when you were... You have truly been heard. Yes. Confirm, Shar is dead. <laughs> this light, it's... It's all up to you now. Do what you must. Shar is a force ghost. Are you sure about this? Amro is a force ghost. Yes, let's leave the rest of them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that. To infinity and beyond. They must leave. Their plant needs them. And that's how the Neo Zeong exploded. Aged by time. That light. Benazir. 
And Zeridi. Melanica is being targeted. The sector is in danger. Contact everyone, hurry! And I didn't get my get gauge. What? Target, Benazure! That wasn't it, right? I haven't got my secret yet. Wait a minute, you really intend to fire with the nail Argama still there? Any damage to the colony will be kept to a minimum. But this is all to protect the Federation's interests. There are times when you must sacrifice the lives of a few so that so the many may might live. I should think that a military man like you would be well aware of that. You were talking to Noah Bright. You're an idiot. <laughs> Darn it. Liar. You're just protecting the Foundation's interests. Alberto. Sacrifice the lives of a few so that many might live. It was one of my father's favorite sayings. I couldn't live with myself doing that. That's the reason I sided with you. So why are you doing this? What? You've always said you reject the logic of men. So why are you doing this? You must be suffering from exhaustion, Alberto. Aunt Martha. It's time. Chairman Ronan, you insist on this course of action. You may consider me an enemy of the Federation from this moment forward. And I call your bluff. You have family too, do you not? Are you sure you want to drag your children into this? I wouldn't want my children to have a father they'd be they're ashamed of. Ooh! Deep blow, Bright! Deep blow! Mental slap! Execute. Chairman Ronan. It's already is out there. What? Your son is piling the banshee. I was the one who proved his request. Why? Why would you? Second thoughts now, huh, Mr. Ronan? Ah! 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 <laughs> the colony laser, no way. I haven't heard a single thing about Grips 2 being repaired. Not one word. Evacuate the Nail Argama from this sector right away! I'll put a psycho field outside Ma Magalanica. What? Run! Oh. Uh. Audrey, you can hear me too. Right, get out of the Industrial 7 and take Siam with you. Benazure. We're staying here. Audrey! You're conf you're confident you can do this, aren't you? Then prove it. It's a colony laser! And make sure you come back. I'll never forgive you if you break your promise. Audrey, it's a colony laser. I am not guaranteeing that I'll win this fight. She's right. It's important you come back. Don't you dare die, Benazure. Far too many people have died already. Benazure! We can go back to school together. What do you say? If you're gonna get a job with the Federation forces, you're gonna have to finish your high school. Really? <laughs> you guys. Hey, Riddy. Let me join you. Hanson Riddy. The Banshee is a psycho mobile t psycho machine too. I can help. The issue of Laplace's box it doesn't just involve your family. The ones who ush. Uh ushered in this universal century. Our elders weren't just discarding their surplus population in the space. They embraced the glimmer of hope for the, for the distant future and sent it out as the greatest prayer they could. So, will it be turned into a curse or can we turn it into possibility? There's no harm in knowing the truth, all of us. We were all blessed when we came into this world. If they told us that from the start, it would have been easier. Fathers never say enough to their children. Children have to fill in the blanks on their own. It's too bad, isn't it? Yeah. No response from enemy-controlled Echoes machines. The rescue of the pilots is complete. Captain, we should withdraw from this sector, too. All right. We're getting out of here. Enemy reinforcements sight. What? Magalanica is being surrounded. 
What was that? Uh. Uh. Darn. Those idiots following Full Frontal's orders to the end, huh? As it stands, even if we avoid the colony laser, the box is still at risk of being stolen by sleeves. Ensign Mihiro, how much time do we have until the colony laser fires? Assuming it's the same as the one using used in the grips conflict, then I believe around we have five turns. I meant minutes, ma'am. Turns. We have five turns. This is your captain speaking. Our current operation is to mop up the remaining enemy units. It will be dangerous, however. Those kids are out there putting their lives in the line, so we adults can sit around and put our own safety first. We will neutralize the Neo Zeon forces targeting Laplace's box within five turns, then leave this sector. As soldiers and as adults, I expect you, you to fight your best. And here's the secret. Oh, that's that Dovin Wolf. That's Dovin Dovin Wolves. Okay. What is? Huh. Okay, the ships are empty, so there's no, uh, captures. And they're gone, so I do not believe I will be able to get the get gauges filled up on those two boys. Alright. I'll have to come back and get them later. Disappointed! I guess they kinda gave me enough ships, uh, enough, enough enemies to do it. I just would've had to kill everyone with one guy. They could've done that. And good shot, Bright. Good shot. Hey, have you met my friend, uh, Judo Ashita? He's a fun guy. You're dead. Oh no, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I can survive this! I can- and I'm, I'm dead. There, there's no way I'm looking through this. Hi! You're gonna die too- it has a long range, actually. Gigan. Yeah, that that was that was not gonna go well for you. <laughs> Next turn, I will. Thought they'd come to me. Here come the Dovin Wolves! Yay! 
four turns! Why are you talking turns? We need time here! This works. <laughs> but I will be getting that Norn and that Unicorn before the next episode after this one. I will come back and get them myself. I just poke my gun out the side and turn it, and like he's like right in front of it. Like, this is not a good place to be. Unless it misses. Oh, no, it hit. Okay. I was like, no, it meant. Oh. Just, just, just a flesh wound. One second. I have the perfect enemy for you. Hi, Ral. Kill. Thank you, Ral. I bet he can't move because of the F SFS, but oh well. Perfect. He's gonna hit me. Ow. Oh, it is a transformable unit. Excuse me. Hi, I'm just your common Garadoga. And I'm here. The shooter grenade at you. Thank you, and have a nice day. I'll take it. Get him, Peru. <laughs> yeah, hurting Peru is very hard. <laughs> That's not gonna hit. Bazooka. 
that's not enough. But at least we can see what this thing can do. Actually, I'm outside its range. All right, then. Well, good thing the Alex is here for cleanup. You missed! Chris, come on! But it, it was right there! And they're right there! I, I mean, that's kind of overkill. No kill like overkill. Level for Rue. Send out the gun. Yep. I'm no idiot. <laughs> Just, just do it. Almost a kill. Props. I feel so bad for these ships. <laughs> I'm the broad side of a barn, you can't hit me! <laughs> I did want to get a level for uh, good old Char here. Let's go. Yeah, you can see in my sights. And that was just enough to kill. I mean, it was a ship, so of course to get a level up out of that. Hmm. All right. One second. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that here. Hi. Don't like those odds. I like these better! <laughs> more missiles? Always more missiles! Go. 
んなところでやられるものか遅い Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's too bad that's Shar you're fighting. <laughs> not close enough, huh? Let's go! Come on, Bernie. I believe in you. Was not nearly enough damage. Let's give it a shot. That does a lot more damage. This thing. At least try to. I just realized it says GR. Doesn't that mean ground? Or General Rebel? Hmm, I wonder. It has more than missiles, it has a shotgun! Gun, incoms, beam saber. And there's a level up. I think I'll end it this turn. Uh, help! Ow. Really? I think uh, I'll take this guy. <laughs> no offense, Ral, but you don't get a lot of defense. Eh, no worries. You missed anyway. Huh. 
Nope. I got judo. Hey, just just a tip. It's that they got like three more turns till the colony laser fires. Yeah, just three more turns till everyone dies. Okay, let's decide. Who do I want to level up by killing the Dovin Wolf Commander? I know I want to level up. Just gotta kill this boy. The Gelgug. With all the lasers. Instant kill. Eyes out of range. Excuse me for a minute, I'm just gonna blow your ship up real quick. Thank you. works. Oh yeah, you're just, you're just, you're just dead. <laughs> Don't worry, we got missiles for clean up. That would have one shot you. <laughs> Just mood. Ah, 
Just some level ups. One second. You're hurting my friend. I don't like that. So you're gonna have to die. Gundam Mark IV in action. Oh, hello, Incoms. Boom. Ah. <laughs> oh, I think they all hit. I love it. Unit level up. Really? Well, that's some range on it. Actually want to kill them. Let's go. Get him right. We got a few turns left, let's do this.
Uh, two turns until the colony laser. Uh, guys, hurry up! We're gonna die. Yeah, you'll be. Excuse me, I have a bazooka with your name on it. Thank you. You may die now. Fire. <laughs> Just It's actually going very well. Got some bulbs in for the Jaradoga. Why are you shooting at me? You're not going to be able to kill me. Not the point. Boom. <laughs> I haven't got to see this yet. Wasn't enough. I'm disappointed. And he got hit too. Ow.
Nope. All right. All right, I'm in here. And dead. Oh yeah, grips too. You were a thing. Right. There are things the rest of you can't see, that I can now. Here, even time seems to glow. No matter how desperate it is, hope can be born. You are light, simply use sadness as fuel to light your way. Do it together with the princess. Humanity is standing at a threshold. Someday, the time may come when they will cross it, while still in their physical bodies. When they do, the path will lead here, over the rainbow. I'm just gonna say that. It seemed like it came out of nowhere. Stage cleared! And 20 to all, and I hit everyone out so everyone gets points. Yay! The horizon of possibilities. Unicorn Gundam, the pinnacle of human thought. An unknown entity born through the accumulated thoughts of 10 billion people. Assisted by the body of Banajer Lynx, it searched the world for something granted to humans in the womb, then using the multicolored light surging from their bodies to fuel itself, drew long lines of light across space. Lost within a multitude of thoughts, Banajer's very being became unclear. His discarnate this carnate soul resident residing in the unicorn. Even if the unicorn was unharmed, his body had been inside. So natural links, beloved by so many, went beyond the rainbow to the other side, to a place nobody had yet reached. And that realization was deeply painful. Audrey Byrne stood at the podium as water droplets floated around her. She would fulfill her duty, as Benazir had done. Countless lights lay dormant in the voids, embrace lights that had yet to learn how to soar. That should have been, that should have had a ch the chance to know the possibility the box had withheld. The link these momentary lights, and the now to the future. Envisioning countless possibilities, Audrey Byrne began to speak as Minerva Lao Zobi. Greetings, people of Earth, space, and everyone in this world. I am Minerva Lao Zobi. My apologies, you must forgive me for addressing you in this manner. I am the heir to the Zabi bloodline. My family once led the Principality of Zeon. However, the matter I am about to discuss has nothing to do with my lineage. 
Today, I learned a secret. A secret that affects the very foundation of the Federation government. As a fellow human being who lives in this world, I would like to inform everyone of this secret. Her clear voice caused a ripple in the void sea of lights. Nerva Zabi's broadcast transmitted from Man Magalanica spread throughout the entire Earth sphere, relayed via the unicorn to space and to Earth. Standing against the Universal Century Charter, engraved with prayers for the future, whenever addressed all people. It was a vision that represented the re vision the representatives could not achieve a hundred years ago. The UC Charter was enacted at the dawn of the Universal Century. It is the foundation of the Federation government, the keystone of its politics. Ninety-six years ago, it was believed that the monument erected at Laplace was lost when ter terrorists bombed the Prime Minister's residence. In truth, it was never lost. While a replica was displayed at the Federation Assembly in Dakar, all these years the original monument was, has been hidden. Take a look for yourselves. Right now, what you see behind me is the real charter of the Universal Century that was erected at Laplace. You must now you must have noticed it as I did. The genuine charter of the Universal Century contains an extra article that we had never seen before. In the future, should a new species new a space adapted human race emerge, the Federation shall prioritize their involvement in the governmental administration. That provision was written in the article entitled Future. Of course, this was not a specific reference to new types. As humanity expands into space, our consciousness will expand so that we will be able to understand each other without misconceptions. Zion Daikun proposed his new type theory more than 40 years after the creation of this charter. I believe that this article, along with the f truth of the, Laplace's La ah, of the Laplace incident, was a prayer, an offering to the distant future. It is nothing more than words. You do not take it in its meaning to heart. It is but a sequence of sounds. If even one person in a thousand finds that light and realizes that there is more to this world than despair, that momentary light will survive within them and be passed down from the parent to child until all of humanity are new types. When that far future comes, humanity will light up the void with the inner possibility and goodwill of humanity. Those are the words of Ricardo Marcinez. Gaze into the future with the eyes of your inner God, free from the control of others. Since then, almost a hundred years have passed. We stand at the precipice of a new beginning. My words are not just my own. Everyone who is listening to this broadcast, please discern the truth for yourselves. Open your eyes. And then, just as the people of, the cent of a century ago did, I ask you to usher in the next century with goodwill in your hearts. Believe in the God called possibility, dormant within us all. Indeed, there is no need for impatience. It will take a thousand, two thousand years for the colonies to even begin roaming outside the Milky Way. For now, just having the possibility is enough. Oh, Audrey. May 4th, you see 0096. With the hundred year curse of the universal century now a prayer, the light of possibility remained within re each and every human.
get. Rykaloom. Minoski craft. Um, full frontal and Minerva Zabi. Huh. Energy tank 3. Max EN plus 50. Alright. Oh, if you know what I'm doing, I gotta go here. <sighs> Level 5. And I could get that. I don't have it. Eh, why not? NTX! And it turns to the things I already have. <laughs> The mystery one left. Just to check. Nope. Manage cap. Not my character's captures. Secure. Dismantle. What, guys? I'll catch you in the next episode when we head back to the Zeta Gundam. Till then, stay classy, the internet. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and join the series. Till next time. Doodles.